Are y'all ready for some wrestling matches? Yeah. Oh, come on. I said, are y'all ready for some wrestling matches? Yeah! yeah. Let's get this show on the road. Here we go. This match is one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first, from Washington, D.C., weighing 230 pounds, Chris Black. <laughs> Well, George, here we are tonight, of course, here at APW, and a uh, new competitor, uh, former competitor against Titan for the challenge, the four, which up, up was up to four thousand dollars, I believe now. Chris Black here at APW. Of course, you watched him live uh, a few weeks back. Tell us a little bit about Chris Black. Well, you know, Chris Black kind of surprises me because he also comes across as a preacher. He preaches to me a lot, but I don't know if it's a lot of hope or whatever. But he's really. Close. I mean, he really preaches the word. And tonight, of course, we have David Diaz, uh, half of the champ tag team champions here tonight at APW, uh, going up against, uh, you know, we have Chris Black. And, of course, what, what does David Diaz have to gain from doing a match like this tonight, George? Well, a small size frame like David Diaz cannot, can, cannot be under so This man... Carries a big wallop, a lot of courage, a lot of anxiety, and I'll tell you what, he is a man that really wants to do this and win like it's like he's showing his belt. He wins. He's in a tag team, half of the tag team, but he wants that gold belt. All right, so here we go, George. We have Charlie Ochoa back in the ring uh, tonight to referee. Mm -hmm. One of your favorite referees, of course. Um, looks like... There's nothing he's going to be able to do to check on Chris Black because Chris Black is like double his size, George. Chris is absolutely as honored as they can be as a wrestler. Look, there's a bell, and we've got them circling around each other, both wearing dark clothing. Uh, it lo looks to see like Diaz is doing better after last week's beatdown from El Rio and Insane and ba basically breaking the, the titles over their heads. Why was that? I mean, you know, even Chris Black has a, not a very nice attitude in there. But I tell you, and and the man uh, is, is a preacher, whatever he preaches. But David he's preaching. Diaz, he's preaching pain tonight, George. All I know is that last week when David Diaz got beat up, he deserved every single bit of it. When you're a tag team, you got to be ready at any moment, and they were not ready last week, George. Well, I tell you, David Diaz has come a long way. Oh, whoa. Woo. Yeah, he came a long way across the ring. Is what happened. When he got thrown by Chris Black. Well. I do see that, but I tell you what, uh, David has come a long way. Oh, look at that. Thrown across by Chris Black. George, I don't think that even D Diaz is ready for tonight's no, match. No, 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 don't say that. D Maybe he needs to do a couple more push-ups before we get in. David Diaz has come, as I said, came a long way because this man has gone through the mill, met some of the toughest wrestlers in there, and survived, and now he holds his own, or at least half of his own, because... He is in a big tag team. Whoa! Just body dragged him down. And Chris Diaz, I mean, David Diaz says, look, I can do bring the big man down. Well, the big man he is, Chris Black. I mean, it's going to take a lot to not only prove that you have what it takes to go up against a man like Chris Black, the inflictor of pain here, the preacher of pain, as you call him yes. previously. Um, but he's definitely going to have to show that he has what it takes to defend a championship belt. Now, the title is not on the line, but if he loses this match, I mean, does he have what it takes to keep the belt in the future? They reverse it. They keep reversing. Who's against them? Oh, my gosh. You saw that wallop he took in his belly. I'll tell you, that knee just sunk right into the back of his bone. It's a great strategy by Chris Black, making all the air come out. Oh, whoa. There's a terrible strategy by Diaz to try and shoulder tackle a man almost twice his size. Man, alive. Guy has got him beat by a hundred pounds. There he goes again, up to the rope, Dad. Same thing, George. Oh my gosh! Hurting that other shoulder. It looks like he's got some of that kines kinesiology right tape against his says, other arm. Oh no! And right in solid smack into his jaw. This is incredible what David is doing. One more time, David. Don't. Whoa! Swing and a miss. And oh! Throwing his entire back. body weight in order to get Woo! someone like Chris Black down. Arm dragon, down goes Chris Black again. 
There he is, being thrown from one end of the ring to the other. His equilibrium must Look be all over the place, George. She looks like he's dizzy. Wow, I tell you, Chris is taking, whoa, ooh, a big wallop, a jumping, flying wallop that Chris Black has received. Again, being thrown, reversed. There goes David. Oh, oh. It's a massive strike over the neck of David Diaz. Charlie Ochoa just looking at the situation, and he's asking him to get him down off the top. Turnbuckle again. Oh, he's trading slugged. strikes. Whoa, you can see that. Small headbutt there by David Diaz, but does he have what it takes to actually jump off and do some damage to Chris Black here? David, a smaller man, but his, his wallops are giant size. Oh, oh, there's that arm. Right into the top ring rope. That is absolutely almost pulling it out of socket. I can't believe Chris Black pulled it. He's going, oh, again. Well, I hope he does, George, because if again, like if he's going to be performing like that tonight, and he's definitely not going to walk away with the win. Chris Absolutely. Black is putting on an amazing performance. Oh, double kick, and down goes Diaz. I hope that Diaz remembers this sermon of pain because when he goes home tonight, he may be walking away with that title, but Whoa. he definitely is not going to walk away painless. Hit that. Another shoulder right into the post there, George. That's metal, full metal. And I tell you, boy, I tell you. Chris Black is not happy about having to deal with David Diaz, asking the fans if that's the true champion oh, there. Those wallops come in hard and solid. Throwing him back into the ring. Good strategy is about to be countered out by Charlie Ochoa. Charlie, right now, one of our top referees is now watching Chris Black climb back in, and David Diaz is just laying down, trying to recoup from the punishment he just took from Chris Black. These guys, oh, oh my God. One, two. Charlie almost counting to three there. Chris Black does not look happy, George. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. David's suffering. He's hurt. I think his shoulder is maybe out of socket. It looks a little bit dislocated there, but Charlie's doing a very good job of making sure that the sportsmanship is in play here. Everything's going well, but that arm looks like it could pop out at any minute. Yes, yes. You know, you're not far from your, um... oh, hit him right on smack. He's slugging him right in the face. Huh? There he goes to the rope, swinging and miss. No, he's got him trapped up. He's got him. Trying to go for a crucifix there. there. One, two. Oh, whoa, that was close. David almost had him. Pacho lift and over the shoulder. And he's got a hold of him. No, what? Is... Oh, shoulder break right there. Slammed his knee to his shoulder. Definitely working that shoulder there. Oh, oh, Diaz barely kicking out, George. Oh, man. Wow. Chris Black looks very upset, and he's putting, inflicting all the pain he possibly can tonight. And, of course, it's not, it's not good enough. So he's going to try and basically break that arm, man. pull it out of his shoulder of his socket there. Wow. Slamming it right to the ring mat. And Charlie in control of the situation, George. He's only looking he's, to see if he's okay. Big boot behind the neck. Another boot of David Diaz. David is... He's wobbly, George. He doesn't even look like he can get up by himself. Oh! This is what happens when you don't do cardio, when you don't do your push-ups, when you don't eat right. You, you're not in ring shape, George. Well, 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 this is what you your champion... This is what a champion looks like David, who does not oh, keep up. Please, David has been working out. Everybody structure is different. Everyone is different in this... Wait, but he has been in good shape. I mean, the guy could not be able to carry a, a tag team title if he wasn't in good shape. His partner wouldn't put up with it. Well, he looks like he's about to lose oh. that opportunity here as Chris Black is definitely preaching on the damage tonight. Look at him. To the ropes again. Another swing and a miss. Oh, back. He's got him dropped. Sunset flip. One, two. And no. No. Oh, kick him. Solid. Kick him out. That's it, George. Oh, no. There's your champion right there. Oh. Barely kicking out. Oh. I'm shocked that he's able to get his arm up. He is just doing every nasty thing he can to wear his opponent down to bring him down. That is not professional wrestling. That is not. Many, many viewers that are watching see that even whatever old school, new school, those are illegal tactics. Well, this is a new era, George, and in the new era, you do everything you can to win the match. This isn't about putting on a show and having fun. you got to come here to win, you and that's what we do at AAPW. Eddie, it's win, but win the right way. This is the way I see it. 
I know I'm old and you call me an old fuddy-duddy, but I'm tired of you saying that. You're witnessing, all you fans that are watching out there are witnessing right now on screen what is happening. And this is, this is unbelievable. Chris Black is punishing. Now, fight back. That's the only thing you have to do is fight back. Come on, David. Big chop right across the throat. Again, a big smack right to the jaw of Chris Black. Chris Black is already, oh. Smacking that back elbow into the chin of David Diaz there, George. What in the world is the referee allowing this to happen? To the ropes and again to the ropes. Oh, what a spear by devil. David Diaz. Whoa, whoa. I applaud him. Spearing him, but him. with that spear, he might have even dislocated yes. his own shoulder, George. Can oh. he get up to finish the pin is the question. Wow. Come on, David. Turn over and put your arm on him. Come on, David. The other way. The other way. Everyone's cheering for David Diaz to get up, but both Chris Black and David Diaz might have been out. I tell you, the fans. The Panama David, Kid. These days, he's he's very barely getting up. And I tell you, the double count keeps on, and they are what? Well, Charlie Joy starting his count to get, see which ones are getting up. Wow! Wow! Almost. Cause they've been both got. Oh, right to the head! David says, "Come on, bring it in again." Using that other shoulder. Oh my gosh! What a Unbelievable. Kicked him off his legs. Oh, yes. The fans want David Diaz. Oh! That's, just, that's what I call a, a desperate act to try to win at the last second. Of course, you might call it good strategy going for the legs of a tall man. I just call it desperation, George. David um, is doing everything to stay alive, and you have to see this. To believe it, Eddie. Eddie, this is no kid. This is a match of the century right now. David is hurt. His ankles hurt. His body's hurt. Now he's going in for the kill. He says, "Let's go, locomotive style." He's getting ready. He's getting excited. And there he goes. Oh! Right into the no. top turnbuckle there, George. Oh! The big man with the big boot, like Chris oh, Black. My God, one. But barely kicking out, George. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I thought, unbelievable. Now he's taking it Char on. Charlie Ochoa is getting in there. Okay. I gotta admit, Charlie's pretty brave going up against a man that size. Well, he's just calling the rules, and I'll tell you, David right now is trying to gather himself together, looking across and looking to we'll see what Chris he Black, better be careful there. Oh, right into the oh! Big, big oh! kick to the gut by Diaz. <laughs> right into the face. Lips taste, to boot, George. A taste of his own medicine, Eddie. A taste of his own medicine. medicine. And there he is climbing to the top turnbuckle rope. And there he is, Eddie. The, See what he's got. It's take, taking a while yes. to get. He's trying to catch yes. his breath, get the fans involved. The fans said yes. Squash Jumping from the top him. rope. And he says, yeah. Oh, Slash from the top. That one, might do it. Two, three. Oh, I am God. shocked, George. I am absolutely shocked. You saw that, didn't you? What? The fans are applauding. They love it. This is the way it is. The Panama Kid, David Diaz, is your winner. So David Diaz walking away with a win. Uh, of course, what does that mean for David Diaz himself, George? It's just an extra notch on his belt leading up to the heavyweight title. So you think as the tag team champions here, David Diaz, one half of the tag team champions. That's right. Wow, Vega Del Rio, the other half of the tag team champions here at AAPW. I am absolutely shocked at the result. Chris Black looked like he had the match in his hand. Sure did. Super easy to come out with the win and disprove the ability of the of the tag team champion himself, That's David right. Diaz. And uh, like I said, these are uh, former 